Name of presenter, Mrs. S.E. Stander. Program, Office Administration. Subject, Office Data Processing, Level 3. Topic 8, Introduction to Presentations Using Microsoft PowerPoint. Reference Material Use, Textbook, Office Data Processing for MS Office 2010, NQF Level 3. Pages 272 to 333. Resources Required, Textbook and a computer. Module 19, demonstrate the use of drawing tools. You can insert and resize sh shapes in your presentation. You can add text to your shapes and you can also change and add the color and add shape effects. If we go to our example that we've been doing. To insert a shape, you will go to insert shapes as soon as you click on shapes you've got different types of shapes lines rectangles basic shapes block arrows and so on so you will have to see what your instruction tells you what type of shape do you need to insert when i've uh, located my shape that i want i can click on it and then you can see that my mouse pointer is now a little plus sign when i click and i drag i can make the size of the shape that I want. Or if it's not big enough yet, I can make it bigger. If it's too big, I can make it smaller. I can go back and insert another shape. For instance, the cross. And I click and I drag and I insert my shape. I can move it around exactly the same as a picture. I can insert another shape click and I drag and I drag the shape the size I want it so that's how I insert shapes if I want to put text into that shape I select the shape I right click and I say edit text now I can type inside that shape When I'm done typing, I can just click anywhere and the typing is there. So people, please, that the thing with typing in the shape, don't make words, don't type your words and it's cut off, for instance, like that. If there's any words cut off, you have to make your shape a little bit bigger so that the words isn't cut off. So I click on the shape, right click, edit text, and I can type my next Like you can see, I cannot have words that's cut off. I'll make my shape just a little bit bigger so that it's not cut off. Select the shape, right click, edit text. And I type whatever I have to type in the, in the shape. Now I can also change the color and add shape effects to my shapes. So if I go back and I select my shape, once again, as soon as my shape is selected, I've got drawing tools. Everything to do with that shape will be under drawing tools format. So text full, I can change the color of the, of the, the, the typing in the text, make it black or make it a different color if I want to make the text black I can go to back uh, text outline what color do, you, do I want the outline of that text to be text effects I can add different effects to my text maybe a shadow or a glow or a bevel if I want to change the shape I can change the color of the shape or the, the, the shape that I inserted, I can change the outline of that shape and I can also change the effect of my shape, either soft edges, low reflection, bevel or even rotation of my shape. 
So as soon as I select my shape, I've got my drawing tools on top there. Everything to do with that shape will be under the drawing tools format.